living free Mike rejects Western culture and he doesn't like people to only come around when they need something. Now, Mike made a video about the trolls hit a new low. And I really wasn't going to address this, but a few of the trolls have been saying that I talk about my faith in God. Um, I, I'm always active on Facebook. I'm a living free page. And yeah. I've got this other channel, Truth or Sorrow, if you're interested, if you're into that that uh stuff there i've got my testimony over there and all that yep i remember that the channel. channel name is truth or sorrow yep i remember that but um and i mentioned i do mention god in my videos sometimes you know there's these trolls are saying that i mention god so that i can look like i'm a good person so that i can there's this is what they're suggesting and the troll so he can get donations is what he said it's just dragging on too long what are you at now, my guess is that uh, good old Kevin, you know, shit stirring Kevin, cameraman Kevin, he did his usual and ran to Mike and said, did you see, did you see, did you see what Blind View said? Yeah, that's the kind of person Kevin is. Uh, he likes to make sure people know what is said about them. He doesn't do it as a friend. He does it for his own amusement. He likes to see people get all fired up, and then he sits back and laughs and watches them go off. And he, he did the same thing with Nomadic Fanatic and watched him totally go off the deep end and go on his rants and deny, deny, deny. But yeah, that's a whole nother story. But that's, that's the kind of guy Kevin is. And Kevin's another one of those that claims to be Christian and godlike and all this other stuff and a good person and yeah, whatever. But that's, that's Kevin. But here's, here's what I want to say about Mike. I, I don't doubt Mike's faith. I believe he is trying to change and mature. He may be failing, but he is trying, in, in my opinion. I mean, he was uh, doing the, the God thing and reading scriptures and trying to uh, tow the righteous path back when he was with Marlo. I, I don't think he is fake, like, like Sarah said, Tim is, when it comes to his beliefs and, and faith. I, I actually believe that Mike does read and kind of tries to live the life, again, unlike Tim. All that being said, I do believe the begging is shameful and, to use Mike's saying, ridiculous behavior. A man of his age, living the cheapest, minimalistic life, should be able to support himself. And I do think mentioning, you know, his faith, I think it helps when the collection plate comes passing around. Now, Mike blames Western culture for all the problems. It's this Western culture that trains us to be me, me, me. Um, if you're not doing nothing for me, then I don't want nothing to do with you. Mike then talks about why he is alone. And, and not just in not having a companion, but having friends and, and hanging out with, with other people. He explains, well, here, let's just let Mike talk about it. Most of the time these days when you build a friendship with somebody, uh, you end up finding out that, how can I say this? A lot of the times friendships these days can become a take, take, take relationship where the second they aren't getting something off of you, they ain't calling no more. They ain't asking to hang out or something. Um, it's just take, take, take. They'll call you up every once in a while when they want something and i can i can roll with that for a little let's let's just let's talk about this seriously here so mike says people just want to take 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 you mean like when you ask for money every live stream he said that people only call you when they need something you mean like you only do a live stream to beg for likes and money you're not giving these people anything in return sure you're gonna say i give them content it's a business transaction i provide you with this entertainment and you give me money yeah i know We're, i've heard that for years from you mike the fact of the matter is you aren't entertaining anyone 
your face is in your phone checking your PayPal. You say people only want you if you have something to offer. When there's nothing to gain, they leave, right? Did you mean like when you say, I want to hit 300 bucks, and then you monitor your donations like it's blood for a transfusion? You mean like when you say, well, if I'm not getting any more money, I'm getting off here. That's right. You guys don't, well, PayPal, nope, no more new donations. Time for me to go. Is that what you mean? No, I don't uh, doubt you have faith and are doing your best with that. However, purposefully or not, the God card does get you money. The shameless begging is not a good look. And it may be TV evangelist actions, but that doesn't make it very Christian. Well, then again, maybe since you don't approve of Western culture, maybe you might be following other teachings. But anyway, the, the point being, doing live streams only to beg is doing just what you just said you disapprove of. Ending your live streams and not interacting or entertaining your audience when the money dries up is a very poor reflection on the faithful. And hey, you don't have to agree with me. That's not the point. What is the point? This is Blind Views, and that's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back.